Levon Serum, the evening show at 6. In association with Spings Perfumed Dio, for the active you. Banking partner, Everest Bank, Gharta Thakari Gharta, Sapna, Abarahena Sapna. Levon Serum, the evening show at 6. Hello, namaste and welcome. I am Sadiksha Shrestha and this is my very, very first show at the Levon evening show at 6 in association with Sphinx Dio. I am a little nervous but I am very, very excited and very happy to welcome this beautiful, gorgeous lady that I have as my very first guest at the show. So without any further delay, please help me welcome the bold and the beautiful Dr. Ravina Deshraj Shrestha. Welcome to the show, Ravina Ji. Thank you so much and <laughs> congratulations, Sadiksha. Thank, Thank you, you for having me. So you are now currently the Assistant Deputy CEO of Mega Bank. How is it? So uh, uh, how is work, how is life currently at the moment? Life is good. Uh -huh. Life is always good for me. Right. No matter what is happening. Life is always good. How do you are a very lot. positive person also, I see. I know your motivational quotes early in the morning, in social media, you know, no matter what you're going through, if you think mm -hmm. positive thoughts and have positive thoughts, it actually makes a huge impact in one's life and in others' life if we share that. I'd like to believe so. <laughs> but I'm also a believer that uh, thoughts become things. Right. Therefore, you should choose the right thoughts. Correct. And I believe in always thinking the right things, uh -huh. lest it might manifest, right, right. you know, oh. so yeah. So, you know, we all know the bold and the fierce Ravina Deshraj Shrestha. Oh, really? But <laughs> how was young Ravina like? Younger, you mean? Right. Like, how, was, how were you when you were, you know, um, younger? Well, I've, um, the way I'd like to, young as in small, right. I've always been somebody who's, um, uh, been very fascinated with nature. Uh -huh. um, I I love stargazing. Mm -hmm. I still do that. Uh -huh. I go up on the terrace and wow. I stargaze from time to time. I love what I know it's man-made and there are satellites, but then I love to see satellites. Mm -hmm. And um, I love nature, so I love uh, just being amongst trees, so climbing trees. You will, you I've always been like that. that. Uh -huh. Always. Sano uh -huh. testo. And my geometry box, uh, just to share with you. Uh -huh is um, I get scared of nothing except sna snakes uh -huh. and spiders. Okay. Okay? Nothing else scares me. So only like those roaches I have in it, sweet into any centipede, sweet into. So Sanabi, like the you were growing up with nature. My exactly geometry box you. used to be full of silkworms. Okay? What? I'm going to kill you. I'm that uh -huh. kind of person. So, so you are, you know, a role model now to not just young girls, but young boys, youth in general. I think, like me being one of them, look up to you, like, you know, to see this amazing woman, you know, doing things, going places. But Tapai, when you were growing up, was there someone you idolized, like a role model? Did you have anyone like that? Well, growing up, um, I looked at my parents. My mom was a very, very strong lady. She was somebody that, uh, I won't say idolized, but I looked at her. And I think the basic sanskar I got from her, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. because she was a toughie. She was a tough woman. My dad used to travel a lot. Right. He was an aeronautical engineer, okay. but he was also a contractor later. So he used to travel a lot okay. and he hardly used to be at home. Uh -huh. But then my father and my mom. So I used to look at my dad and my mom. They were the closest to home. Correct. They were my primary caretakers. Uh -huh. they, were my, they were my caretakers. So I used to look at them and I think who I am today is because, is because, of because completely, right. actually because of my mom and my dad. Right. I think my, uh, my foundation and my character, my basic character, was made, by them. yes, oh, oh. made because of them right. and who they are and who they were and what they taught me. But another person, there's only one person who's inspired me in mm -hmm. life, and that was when I was in college in Calcutta, and um, I got the opportunity to work with her, which is Mother Teresa. Mm -hmm. I was very, very blessed to be able to work with her. Mm -hmm. So I worked with her in the old age home and with little children. Right. So besides these three people. That yeah. influence, that experience must have been amazing, right? It was absolutely amazing. It was. And just to see the compassion right. and, uh, you know, the energy of the person and who she was. So, three of them basically. Right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you know, 
uh, while I was researching about you, let's see, mm, you know, for this okay. interview. Okay. I have a lot of interviews here, and in mm -hmm. one of those interviews, um, particularly saying stand up for passion, but I have a event where I speak on that. Kere. You said that, you know, growing up, math wasn't your strong suit. Mm -hmm. So, you know, now you're the assistant deputy CEO of Mega Bank. Mm -hmm. So, how did you get into banking? You know, how did it start? Well, I believe that it's, um, I don't believe in happenstance. Uh -huh. I believe that everything happens for a reason, uh -huh. right? And I was in an internship okay. and for which I was placed in Standard Chartered. Mm -mm. It used to be ANZ Grinley's then. Okay. And I got in there and I was doing my internship. One of the senior managers liked me very much. I already had another job okay. because I like development work. Uh -huh. And I was supposed to actually go to a place called Jim Rook. Okay. Hmm? And I was supposed to work in Jim Rook. But uh, internship, that uh, senior manager, he liked me so much. I think he was Bangladeshi. Okay. He liked me so much, he got his secretary to call me and say, get that, get that girl uh -huh. to come and apply for a job wow. in, uh, <laughs> in ANZ Greenlace. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And uh, I remember I, was, I wasn't well, Titiwala. Okay. I, had a, I was a bit under the weather, and, mm -hmm. but I got a call and I said, you know, it just, it just happened. Content, and right. that's how I got into banking, okay. actually saying. Yes. I went, got the job and the rest is history. Exactly. It is, it is yeah. very, very true. But also, um, even if math uh, has not been, if I'm not that acute mm -hmm. in mental mathematics, right. you've got computers right exactly. now. You've oh, got the I calculator. Right, right, I remember right. in, one of an, in one interview, I remember the CEO asking me, how good are you in maths? And I said, give me a calculator. I'm really good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, exactly. Aile, aile ko oh. maza, you know, one doesn't really. But then sure. the interest ko kura pa ni And then, mm. like you said, you know, if opportunities knock at your door, you should be able to grab them. True. Right? So, mm. we're in conversation with Dr. Ravina Deshrat Shrestha, and you're watching the Live On Evening Show at 6 in association with Sphinx Dio. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Live On Serum, the evening show at 6. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back after the break. You are watching the Live On Evening Show at 6 in association with Sphinx Deal. I am Sadiksha Shrestha and we are in conversation with Dr. Ravina Deshra Shrestha. Welcome back, Didi. Thank you, dear. So, you're also the recipient of a 21st Century Golden Phoenix Award, right? And along with that, I know you're the recipient of four international awards. How was that experience? It was absolutely... Um Breathtaking, actually, uh -huh. right. <laughs> you know, because the 21st Century Golden Phoenix Award. Um, I think I got tapped by people who, um, it's, a, it's a worldwide company. Right, right. And they were contestants from 32 countries mm -hmm. and about 6,000 women. But I think they tapped me from my CV somewhere right. and they followed my life history, uh -huh. how I was in school and in college and, you know, mm -hmm. looked at my interviews and all of that. It was breathtaking because the 21st Century Golden Phoenix Award. It's a big it deal. Was, it was a huge deal. But I didn't realize how big a deal it was until I got to Malaysia. Right. It was in Malaysia. And it was in this place called the Palace of Golden Horses. Uh -huh which is out of this world uh -huh. it's it's you know it's so extravagant the the place and everything so it was whoa <laughs> it's like exactly. oh my gosh yeah and it's you great. know the pile because golden phoenix award is given to women who have done a huge contribution in different fields in different and they come from different walks of life you know you were also a member and now you're the vice uh, chairperson of this uh, women entrepreneurship development fncci koyoda so, this my involved by second, but she the pilot say Nepal must especially all these women who want to do something on their own become entrepreneurs. What do you think is the biggest obstacle for them? The biggest obstacle I've seen in women, whether it be actually it's the women who are in rural areas, yes. who are in semi urban areas, they have more of a will to do something. Surprisingly, uh -huh. it's the women who are qualified, right. it's the women who are educated. Uh -huh. You know, literate. want to live the easy life. Exactly. <laughs> you know, so I think that's the biggest impediment. There has to be a will, willingness from inside. Right. I believe that life is all about choices. Mm -hmm. Right. So um, I think you know I can lead a retired life now, but I choose not to. Exactly. Right. Oh. I had parents. Um, I got married. I could have just stayed as a dependent, but I chose not to, and mm -hmm. that's a choice. Oh. Right. So I think the bottom line is. For whether it be entrepreneurship or whether it be um, 
uh, service, mm -hmm. whether it be anything, you know, whether you want to go out and teach, um, it's the willingness from inside. So I think the biggest impediment is that. But um, to because it. to overcome that, right. you know, for women, I will not say it's because you've got like social norms and you've got social responsibilities uh -huh. and it's the structure and all of that. Of course, that does play a role, right? Right. But then I think women are very acute managers, uh -huh. and if they want to do it, they can. They can. So it's all the right. willingness. Yes. And it's a choice. And you yourself have done so much. I think you know, of a generally public like. They know you as a banker, Ravina Deshachrashtra. But I know, I don't know how many of our viewers know that, but I know that you're also a certified life coach, a certified healer, a certified hypnotherapist. You know, there's so much to you. You have so many feathers in your cap, ni, Hazruko. So, how do you find time to do this? Is it interest, you know, dedication that requires to do all of that? So, because if we keep banking and spirituality in a spirit, spectrum they come in them opposite my own sir so how is it being a part of these two wonderful things keeps you on the ground uh -huh. keeps your feet on the ground um, problems because the of the spiritual streak in me uh -huh. and because of the search um, and that quest that I have for things that are not felt and touched mm -hmm. you know in, uh, like I said in one of my talks, like you mentioned in Stand mm -hmm. of a Passion, things in a different realm, you know, not earth realm, mm -hmm. things that are beyond right. that, in the cosmos, mm -hmm. beyond, right? Without sounding too hoo-ha. <laughs> <laughs> you know? It keeps you on, it keeps your feet on the ground, okay? Right. Because it makes you realize that, you know, I read the Gita also, in Gita Mabhani, you say everything is drama. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. come to realize that it is a kale. Everything is drama, mm -hmm. right? Okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So once you have that realization, it's been fantastic for me to actually maintain myself no matter what happens to me. So it keeps my feet on the ground. Right. It doesn't drive me crazy. Exactly. So it's been a wonderful mix. Oh, excuse me, mix, yeah. Right. And I'm sure like just the banking ma sector ma involved Bahakuru, there's a lot that you have to deal with, right? There's a lot of stress level also. So you, I know you do yoga, regular yoga, regular meditation, and you know, being a spiritual healer also. I'm sure that the Pali one has, it keeps you grounded, it keeps you focused, it takes you away from all the stress mm -hmm. that you might have because of your day job, Bhanu mm -hmm. So I think it is amazing and I hope when people look at this interview and see this interview, you know, they see a different side of you and see that man chiyo rili tahiyo bani jepani gorna saksa. There's time for everything, you know. Absolutely. So I think with that completely, message, completely. we would like to take a short break here at the Livon Evening Show at six in association with Spring Studio. Don't go anywhere, and please do come back. Livon Serum, the Evening Show at six. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Livon Evening Show at six in association with Spring Studio. I am Sadiksha Shrestha, and I am in conversation with Dr. Ravina Deshraj Shrestha. So, Ravina Di. You are the mom for two amazingly talented sons, you know, who have made an amazing name in the media industry. And now your elder son is also off to Mumbai to start his career, to spread his wings and, um, you know, reach newer heights. Mm. So, but you're also a mom. You're also a manager to them, as mm -hmm. far as I know. Yes. So how is it being a mom and a manager to your sons? Um, the way I've raised my sons, I've been a disciplinarian uh -huh. as well as a friend, okay. you know, once they've grown. So uh, being a momager, <laughs> um, there's compassion, right. there's understanding, mm -hmm. and there's trust, like you could trust nobody, you know, right. as a parent. Right. So I think they have complete, uh, uh, implicit faith in me, uh -huh. and they know that no matter what I do, because of me being a banker, <laughs> I think they think that my, <laughs> negotiation, the right decision. my negotiation skills are also very acute. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So, um, as a mother, sometimes I do need to sort of, you know, say, um, maybe, maybe this is not right. Okay. Um, Take the hard decisions also. Yes, sometimes you need to do that. Mm -hmm. um, there are times when I have uh, serious conversations with, the, with them, uh -huh. where we differ okay. in certain things. But uh, it's been great. I think the benefit is more for them than me. Okay. <laughs> but but who, makes the, who makes the last call? So this is it. The kids. Really? They do it. Wow. They make the last call. I give them my viewpoint. Mm -hmm. I give them this is what I think and this is how why you should and do it, this is how you should go right. about it. And you know, then Would the you decision. give them that freedom to yes, take their own decision? the decision decisions. is theirs. 
because um, I'm not there as uh, a mother, you know, a mother hen with uh, chicken. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's not like that right, anymore. Right. They're grown men. Uh -huh. These are adults, you know. And tomorrow, um, if they make any mistake or if it's even not a mistake, mm -hmm. or things don't go out um, learn a according lesson. to, yeah. Oh. It's it's all a lesson, right? You know, so the choice is theirs. Mm -hmm. So I'm not a very much of a pusher, or, so I don't do that. Right. I don't do that. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so Azurko relationship, you know, with your sons, we see on social media, and you yourself are also a very active person. I see your motivational quotes at early morning in Facebook and Instagram. So Azurko Bisar Mati, early in this time and age, in this day and age, mm -hmm. um, how active? Uh, should a person be in social media to maintain good relationships with the public, with your friends, with Sunny? How important do you think is to stay connected through social media? I think it's very, very important. I think if you've got a, you know, what, I have, I've mentioned this somewhere. Let me just repeat myself. Right? Oh, if a person is known by more than your immediate family yeah. and your community, mm -hmm. I think it happens for a reason. Right. So it is you like know? a duty. It's yeah. You know, yeah. people don't become uh, oh. known to more, you know, a wider mass right. just like that. Me, believe it or not, God strike me down if I'm lying. <laughs> but I actively did not pursue wanting to be, you know, in the in the media mm -hmm. or I, I did not do that. I was too busy doing my work yes, in banking, yes, you know. Yes. But then I was very vocal also, right. and um, I, I think I am a very emancipated person. I do talk <laughs> to people, right? so um, at least in the professional space, mm -hmm. I do that. And um, I believe that, you know, if you become a little bit more known than a lot of uh, other people mm -hmm. and uh, there is certain knowledge that you have gained, let's see, with life experiences or whatever, then it becomes a few to s share that, oh, oh. you know. And yeah. Lord knows the world does need positivity oh, definitely. because there's so many things. People are tackling right. so many things every day. Oh, oh. And especially when you look out in society right now, let's, let's not go too far. Let's look at, home, at the home front only mm -hmm. okay? in Nepal. Oily. I hear of so many suicides. I hear of so many people going into depression, whether it be older people, right. whether it be uh, youngsters. Young, yeah, yeah. Oh. there's so many things happening to people. Right, right. People don't speak up. Mm -hmm. So uh, most of my quotes or the things that I post right. are not about just, you know, motivation and things like that. It's just about being authentic, right. excuse me, being authentic being and being happy. you. Yeah. And being you, right. you know, and no matter what age you are, I think everybody deserves to oh, be happy. Oh. And you know, you don't need to put on a face and a front all the time. Right. Sometimes right. when you're sad, you're sad. Oh, oh. The is the, if you're known, if you have that power in you, I think it's also a responsibility to use that power for good. Totally. Totally. Right. Totally. Because, you know, when I think uh, that's when, okay. um, just to complete what I was saying, uh, just to add to that, if you become a little bit famous and people know you, mm -hmm. Then when you speak, people listen. Right. All right. You have that impact also. You, you know? seem to have this right. impact, you know? and definitely, if you have an impact, then no matter you know, you don't know who you're touching, okay? whose life you're touching. So if you post something and right. say something positive, uh -huh. or say, hey, sometimes I'm vulnerable, and it's okay. I might be, you know, this tough-looking woman, and you know, things I to have, who see, seems to have everything together. <laughs> I don't have everything together right. all the time, oh. and it's okay to do that. Yes. Right? Right, right. So it's, you know, you can come out and tell people that. This exactly. so. So, so talking about, you know, life mm. and uh, moving things forward, Banumna, mm. how uh, do you live your life by? Is, this like, is there a one mantra that you follow to have this balanced life? Yes. And that is? My mantra is live. You know, be uh, prepared... Uh, for the consequences of your decisions mm -hmm. and live one step at a time breathe know where you're going and that's it right. that's all and you just got to be you mm -hmm. because you know you're never going to get it done right because there's always something new that you want to do of course and it's oh. you know life is it's never, never, never going it's never enough you're never going to get it done right. okay no matter what you want to do you're never going to get it done mm -hmm. because if you've accomplished something, you look around and you do a little bit of research. You there are people who've accomplished. Things. No, oh. there are people who know so much more than you. Okay. There are so you know there oh. hundreds and thousands and lakhs of people around the world right, right, right. who know so much more than you on different subjects. Mm. Right. Li life is about learning every day, all the time, new things. Mm. Right. So with that message, you know, live, learn.
learn from others, live every day. We will take a short break. You're watching the Live On Evening Show at 6 in association with Spinks. I am Sadiksha Shrestha. Don't go anywhere. Live On Serum, the evening show at 6. Welcome back. After that break, you're watching the Live On Evening Show at 6 in association with Spinx Studio. I am Siddhiksha Shrestha and we're in conversation with Dr. Ravina Deshra Shrestha. So Ravina Di, I have this um, question and answer here, you know, but if you have a question, answer it wouldn't be fun. What I did was I actually called Ashirman yesterday and I have <laughs> answers to these questions now with me. I told him not to tell you, I know. And I told him you're my guest. So please, ma'am, will I not want to tell you? I have these questions. Please answer these questions. And I'll ask you the same questions. It's, it is, it's about your favorite things, you know. Okay. So we'll see how much your younger son knows about you. Oh, that's cute. So it'll, be a, it'll be a fun oh, I like quiz. This. <laughs> so, mother and son quiz. Oh, that's really nice. Oh. So what is your favorite holiday destination? Thailand, Mumbai. <laughs> okay, he said Greece. Right. Yeah, okay, I want to go there. <laughs> okay. Santorini, yeah. So, no, that's what I want to do. No, that's what I want to do. Okay, yeah. so, so right, right answer. Mm. What is your favorite song? What would he say? <laughs> he would say, um, Rockstar Kogit. In the arms of an angel is oh what he God. said. So, he does knows he know me so yeah. much better? <laughs> does he know you better? Because that is, is my all time favorite. Yeah. Right, oh my right. gosh, yes, yes, yes. What is the favorite Fingers way to though. relax? Listen to music mm -hmm. and chill. Okay. Pretty much. What did he say? Meditate and yoga. <laughs> okay, <laughs> moving on. What is your... Um, oh my God, my son does know me. <laughs> what is the favorite book? How's it go? Autobiography of a Yogi. Okay. What did he say? He said Dr. Wayne Dyer, go any of the... Books, oh, yeah, because that's, that's also that's nice. That's what you mm. follow mm. by Dr. Dr. Van Dyer. Uh, my God, my son is so observant, like, okay. anyway. Mm. So, who is your favorite actor? Who did, what did you, what do you what think that he, yeah, said. he said? Whoa. Oh, my gosh. I don't know. He said, Sir Anthony Hopkin. Did you really say that? Yes. And okay. I was surprised, you know, because he actually... Yeah, because uh, Meet Joe Black is one of my all-time favorite, favorite movies. Favorite movies. Ho, ho, ho. I know. Right, right. Wow. So, last question is... Hannibal, yeah. All right. Mm. What is your favorite color? Blue. Yes, he said the same thing. <laughs> and, when say, and then he that's also added, <laughs> because that's also my favorite color. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes. So, so oh, with that, bad. we wrap up the son and mother quiz, you know. I think... Um, he knows me sons, more than yeah. I know myself. Yes, he does know you a lot. And he, you know, the way he answered also, like the time later, so chira, yo, because of this is this many bhaan, I think you only. So, mm. you know, it's wonderful to have this relationship with Absolutely. your sons. And oh, I think, precious. you know, the bond that uh, mm. you share with your parents are definitely one of the most special bonds that you can ever have. Um, it, so yeah. thank you very much, Ravinadi, for being here with us in the show and for gracing the set and being my very first guest. I thoroughly enjoyed and, you know, I think this uh, show, this session especially, this episode would definitely inspire, I think, a lot of young people, a lot of people who are watching us at the moment. So I thank you very, very much for your thank time. Thank you so, so much, my dear. Mm -hmm. And I'm honored right. to grace your first <laughs> show, as you said. No, I seriously am honored. Thank you so much. And and you know, last and question, say, eh? hmm. parting uh, like uh, now that before we end our show, is there anything you'd want to say, like one message to everyone who's watching us? Stay curious. Stay curious all the time because there's so much that you don't know. Uh -huh. There's so much to know. Your time is limited, and uh, you'll never get bored. If you're curious, All right. because so much to know, it's fascinating out there. Thank you so much, Ravinadi. Thank you so much again. Thanks, dear. So with that message, be curious and stay curious. I, Sadiksha Shrestha, will take your leave from the Live On Evening Show at 6 in association with Spring Studio. I'll see you soon next time. Live On Serum, the evening show at 6. In association with Spring's Perfumed Dio, for the active you. Banking partner Everest Bank Karta Thakari Karta
सपना अब रहे न सपना Levon Serum the evening show at 6